Hi, this is Magnar, and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to add new mounts. Uh, I'm not taking into consideration the mount uh, and textures or models. If you want to add those, uh, it was exa it's exactly the same. Uh, method as, as used when adding unit equipment, custom unit equipment or models um, and so follow those tutorials for that. This is more just about the uh, tables required and how to edit them etc etc. Uh, so let's jump straight into it into the Magna mod unit base pack. Now the one that I have in the comment, the link I have in the comments below uh, I've actually already included down here into variant mesh definitions a variant mesh definition for a new horse called Horse Parthia Basic. Uh, I've taken this variant mesh definition from uh, Magna Mod. It will be in the upcoming uh, Parthia overhaul. It hasn't been released yet, but uh, for you tutorial watchers, I've included it in the pack. It's just a pretty basic horse unit. Um, okay, so well that, of course that's the first thing. You create your variant mesh definition for your horse. So let's check out what I've done here. I'll just stretch it out so you can see it a bit better. Okay, now we can see it. So I've got here uh, one, two, three different horse models. I've just picked the horse models without any white in the horse because the Parthians didn't really have horses with white, even patches of white. So they're the models I've picked. Um, and then I've just gone with a number of very basic bridles and some saddles. All of these are found within the variant models um, and these are all vanilla uh, textures and models here. But if you want to create new ones of course you would not put it under man, you would put it under horse as you can see the directory here. Variant models horse, body parts is for the actual horse itself. Uh, variant models horse, bridles for the bridles etc etc. Okay so once we've added our variant mesh definition to the pack, we will then add all the tables. Now we already have here one of the tables which could we, we did it um, when creating generals and that is variance tables. We do need that. With uh, land units, when we add uh, land infantry units like uh, Hope Lights here, all these variant mesh definitions we've done here, uh, the game will actually look up for that unit in this folder here directly so you don't need to add it to the variance table but for say generals and also for horses you do need, it to, add, need to add it to this table. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clone this row and I'm going to put in there our new horse variant mesh definition. Horse Parthia basic. Now I usually, like I say, always copy paste. I, I'm not doing it this time, but if something goes wrong, then that's probably because I haven't um, I've made a typo with writing that in. Double check it again. Parthia basic. Horse Parthia basic. I'll pass you a bit. Okay, good. So now I'll copy that and I'll also save get those changes saved and now I'm going to add the other tables required. So that being, I'll go to uh, add from pack, then I'll go to data room 2, open it up, and then there's two tables to do with mounts that I want to use, and they are uh, mounts here, the mounts table, and mount variance table. They're the only two you need. So we'll add those, okay, after you right click on each. They should pop up like this in green and of course we save and rename them. So let's rename that as we do always. Same with the mounts table. Okay, so let's uh, start with the mounts table. Um, our unit 
we're going to use our key, our, 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 sorry, start with the uh, variant. So the variant is pulling from our variants table, so we can put that in there. Okay, and in here, we can call this whatever we want. We can call it uh, Parthian uh, Light Horse or Horse L. Shoot L. Yeah. Now, then we pick the animation that we want to use. The animation is, of course, coming from the animations table. Here's our custom animation table, but if we want to see the uh, full animation table, of course, we go to Data Roam 2, or wherever we've extracted the animations table in a previous episode. Go to the animations table here, and we can have a look down. Uh, and we're looking, of course, at this part here for the animation name. And we want to get something to do with horses, so roam, roam man, no, roam horse, or roam mount. Okay, here are the roam mounts right at the bottom of the animations table. Uh, and we've got a horse, so let's call have our horse as a spear and a shield horse. And we will give the animation roam mount uh, horse spear shield so we can just copy either copy from here directly control C put in the animation or we can put copy from somewhere else in the table it's exactly the same thing it doesn't matter the entity will come from the battle entities table again we'll have to either get that from the other entri entries in this table uh, or we will get them from the data roam 2 table db and then battle entities can do a quick filter here for horses uh, camel elephant horse there it is and you can pick one of these entities or you can even create your own custom uh, horse entity I'm not going to get into that in this episode uh, but so just you can just pick one of them say we'll go for horse medium so we're going to put that entity in there. The amount of armor that the mount has, I'm going to leave that as nothing because this uh, variant mesh definition doesn't have any armor on the horse. And the audio armor type. Again, you can pick something from the list or look in. Well, for the audio armor type, let's check out the uh, assembly kit to see which table that looks up. In the last... Uh, tutorial I couldn't actually open assembly kit because it was being a bit annoying during to due to some problems with the update on the day that I was recording uh, but now it's working again so I will open it up and show so battle entities and I'm going to show schema sorry not battle entities uh, what am I mounts mounts table okay mounts Show schema. And you can see here audio material enums. That doesn't actually exist in Data Room 2. If you go up here and you look for audio material enums, it is not there. It is only in the assembly kit, which means that it's um, reading from somewhere else. So if we want to see what audio we can use, we can go to the table launcher here and pick audio material enums. And here are all the different types of audios we can use. So it's the same for whether it's weapons or it's for armor or what have you. Um, and we can pick one of them. So I'm going to stick with body and that is all I'm going to do for that table. So now I'll delete everything else. Oop, not up, I want to go down. So I'll select two and control shift down to delete everything except for that top row I've just edited. Uh, then I'll save it and I will copy. Let's copy this key and jump into the mount variants table. Uh, the mount key here is pasted into there. And this display key is a bit deceptive because it's not actually a display key. What this wants, which kind of gave me took, took me a little while to figure out my mount why my why my mounts weren't working 
is because this is not a display key, this is actually the variant mesh definition. So we paste that in there as well. Um, and then we can delete everything. I don't really think this weight does anything. I could be wrong. If I am and you've uh, tested it and it's actually doing something, please let me know. Um, and that's all there is to mounts. Well, that's the introduction to mounts. Of course, you can edit, edit the battle entities and such, uh, which I'll probably do in another episode. But uh, for this one, that should be enough to get any custom uh, variant mesh definitions working uh, with your mounts and into the game. Then, of course, when you're assigning mounts to units, you do that in land units table. So it can go in land units. We don't actually have any um, cavalry units at the moment. But what we would do is we'd take this key here. So we'd copy that. Uh, we jump in here. Scroll across to land units. Uh, to, to animal, uh, to number of mounts. And we'd paste in here the number of mounts this unit would have. Now you want to always make sure that the number of mounts in, in this column is equivalent to the number of men in the main units table. If you have less mounts than you have men, then some horses will have two riders. It'll look like um, a Hindu god with four arms. Uh, yeah, so you don't want to have that happen. So make sure you make sure of that the number of mounts is the same as the number of men. Uh, the number of men, of course, is defined here in main units over in this column here, number of men. So just look up the land unit that you're assigning it to and con confirm that the that they match. Uh, if you're assigning mounts to a chariot, that is something else. I'll deal with chariots in another episode. Um, so don't worry about that for now. Anyway, that's all there is to it. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.